indigo prophecy. This is why these guys made heavy rain and shit. So, you know, this is back when it's awful graphics, as you can see. PS2. Um, but, still very, very dramatic. And I think that's why I want to play it. Let's do that. Do we need a tutorial? Do we really need a tutorial? I don't think we do. We'll be fine. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, and my life descended into chaos.
done. I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I've... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Damn. Well, we killed a guy. Okay, you saved me. Thank you. I can also see a blaring blue writing in the top left screen. I wonder what that is. Uh, you know, it's PlayStation, man. It's kind of weird. I don't know what they were doing back in the day with that. Okay, what does that mean? Analog. It's barred up. I can't get out this way. Now with that jump. Oh fuck. I'm I'm gaining more depression points. Uh can we hide the body? Uh yeah, let's do that. L1 R1 to hide the body. And we're less depressed. Easy. <laughs> it's like I didn't even do it. Man, being a murder is pretty fucking simple. Uh, okay, we should probably wash the blood off. <laughs> Terrific. Alright. Um, is there a mop? Yeah, is, is that a mop? Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, sweep the blood. Oh, that, that is a bop. Okay, keep, keep doing it. There you go. Yeah. All right. No murder here. Nothing to see. What's in this one? Another toilet. Excellent. I'll leave that there. Oh, shit. It's the murder weapon. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Did we do it? Did we get rid of it? I guess we did. Um. Alright. What's this thing? Empty. Damn! I need condoms. I think that's a condom dispenser. It's in the trash can. Not what I meant to do, but it'll do. Oh, fuck. Here comes the cop. All right. Uh, let's just walk out of here. Nothing to see here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're good. Don't, there's nothing. Don't go in there. There's nothing. There's nothing. Don't go hey, in there. Sir, you bill. All right. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Yep, let's do that. Just keep walking. Nope. I, I told you not to go in there. Ah, Nobody shit. goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. Taxi. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm Taxi. and wait here for the police to arrive and check your Taxi. ID. Taxi. Get me out of here, quick! Uh, All right. Another day, another murder. Doc's diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? 
Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Oh, shit. Now we're a lady. And a cop. Alright. Um, what's the question? In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. I don't know why you let me walk around first before you did that. You could have just transitioned directly from him talking to me and getting out the car to that part. Yeah, but I guess they wanted to wait till the player was ready to see that. I don't know. Also, I want to see if there's subtitles. Can we get subtitles? Visual. Screen position. That's not subtitles. Audio. Nope. Controls? No. Alright, no subtitles. I tried. Alright, Tyler, come on, we got a case to solve. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. All right. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. To top it all, he left without paying. Kate tried to talk to him, then he left. Okay. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. All right. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Okay. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. All right. Let's start with the waitress. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. When the symbol appears at the top right of the screen, you can switch characters. Oh, okay. You can switch to Tyler. Alright, Tyler. Uh, you... can check out the body. So let's do that. Check out the body, Tyler. Yeah, I hope you got a strong stomach. I hear it ain't pretty. Alright. What do we got? 10-4. Open up this stall. Yeah, that's where I was. I mean, no, I don't remember this at all. Toilet's broke. The killer broke it. He's gonna do hard time. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on it. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Yeah, no, they usually aren't. If they're serial killers, they don't steal. They kill. Alright, does this toilet work? Damn! What if I gotta take a shit, man? Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Okay, I don't oh, like that camera. Right. I'll take care of it. Ew. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Nope. Oh. Don't you usually put on gloves when you do stuff like that? What kind of cop are you, Tyler? Uh, Car uh Carla, don't look. Tyler? No look! Not. This is a restroom, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene. Can it be both? Done. 
watching all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. <laughs> Carlos stress. <laughs> oh my god, Tyler, you're dick again. You're stressing me out. Okay. Let's go talk. Let's let's get Carla out of here. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Alright, I hope we got all the clues, and I hope there's no repercussions for not getting all the clues. And that's that that's exactly what this type of game is. God damn it. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Alright. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. God, poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. All right. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. You're lying. All right. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Okay. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Hmm. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The guy just ran off without paying. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Mm. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. He wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah, I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay.
Good night. Oh boy. We got another crazy on our hands. What do you know? Hey Garrett. Hey Frank, how's it going? Hey Carla. Hey Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Alright, is there anything else that we need to check? I'm gonna go back to the bathroom. I feel like we might have missed something. Wait, this was a stable. Huh. Here's his fork. But where's the knife? Hmm. Suspicious. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict. Or else he wasn't alone. Yeah, who the fuck drinks coffee and a carbonated beverage? That's gross. Dude, carbonated coffee. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put that image in your head. A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Nah, it Garrett, makes sense. There's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. All right. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. That means it was somebody else's coffee. Somebody framed him. You know, f for the coffee. Wow, why would I sit? I don't need to sit. Okay. Is there any, any clues on the phone? Frank, can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? You got it, Carla. Yeah, that's right, I'm the boss. Everybody get to work. Stop standing around waiting on me to say things. Tyler, get out. No. Get out, Tyler. Alright, whatever. I'm controlling Carla now, so he's not gonna try anything. Uh, the broom. I mean, mop. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Uh, well, isn't it obvious, Carla? He wanted to make sure the janitor didn't lose his lunch. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Okay. Hmm, can't inspect the window. What about the sinks? Can't inspect it. The, yeah, we can. Well, I can look at myself. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Damn, I'm gorgeous. I'm sorry, were you saying something, Tyler? I was just admiring my fucking beauty. Alright. I I don't understand these controls, dude. Uh several wounds on the left side of the chest and the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Are we the coroner now? I don't think that's in our job description. But alright. Okay. Well, let's check out the rest of the place. Oh my god, dude, the camera hey, controls. Stab some dude in the toilet? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. That's true. Get off your phone. What are you playing, Wordle? Come on, let's go. We got work to do. Okay. Let's check the back door. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. What's back here? Hello? Any witnesses? You! Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? <clears throat> Cold enough for you? Yeah, well, luckily I got this to keep me warm. <laughs> you want a little splash? <laughs> I'm gonna have to confiscate that. Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Uh, I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. Okay. I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. 
Nah, nah, I don't trust that guy. I apprehend him. Take him in. Take him in for questioning. Sober him up. Beat the answers out of him. That's the police way. That's true police work. Alright, I don't think there's anything... ...all the fucking way out here that we need to examine, so I'm gonna go back into the diner. Actually... Um... No, wait. I think we can examine the window. Can we do that? Nope. Can we examine this? We cannot. I'm just gonna switch to Tyler. Alright, Tyler? You? Maybe... Wait, can Tyler, like, question the guy outside? Anything back here? Nope. God, can I sprint? Okay, I can reset the camera. That's a little jarring. Oh, I can. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, dude. I'm hitting down to go forward. This is weird. Oh my God, these these controls are weird, dude. They they constantly change depending on like the angle of the camera. That is so bizarre. All right, can we put on some music? Put on some jams? Put on some hippo hop? All right. Never mind. I don't think we can. Alright. Carla should be around this way. But, uh... Oh, and there's a cab. Maybe I could... Oh, I can question the cab driver. Yeah, he, he, he picked him up. He picked him up. He might know something. Hey, cabbie. Police. Hello. Police. Cab. You're under arrest. Anybody even in there? No? This is an empty cab. Alright. Maybe one on break. Okay, maybe I can... Let me see if I can question this guy. Get something out of him. Yo. What do you want? I'm a police detective. I'm investigating a murder that took place in that restaurant. I was wondering if... Ah, oh, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> you don't say. Right, thank you. You've been helpful. Why the fuck did that depress me? Arrest him! The well, fuck, you don't talk to a goddamn cop like that. Son of a bitch. Alright, uh, clues? Did you find anything, Tyler? <sighs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. You're fired, Tyler. I'm switching back to Carla. Because you're too tired to do real police work, and apparently now you're depressed, so I'm just not gonna use you. Oh fuck, we locked ourselves <sighs> out! only opens from the inside. Oh fuck! And that stressed me out! Oh god, this game is- this game is fucking stressful, holy shit. Everything you do just takes a toll on you. I wonder why that is. Is that real life? Is that like real life? I guess it is. Alright. Well, Tyler's stuck out there. I guess we'll just leave after we've seen everything. I think we have, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. We checked everything in the bathroom. I think we're done here. Tyler, let's go. Tyler. Tyler, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's beat it. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around here somewhere. Oh, shit, that's right. Where's the murder weapon? Where the fuck could that be? Maybe this guy... No, I can't talk to him anymore. He's an asshole anyway. I don't want to talk to him. And I'm locked out again. I gotta go all the way the fuck back around to get into the diner again. Where the hell could he have put it? In this, in the grate, maybe? Hmm. In this toilet. In this urinal. No. In... Well, I know it wasn't the trash can. Maybe it was a revenge thing. Or a psycho. This town is full of psychos. They're everywhere. When I was in the Bronx, I saw guys who'd rip your guts out and hand them to you just so they could take your shoes. Tyler, can you shut up for two minutes? A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the blood. 
Kill used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Alright! Good police work. We found it. That was... That was a shitty hiding spot. He was probably better off throwing it out the fucking window. Or in the sewer grate. Yeah, because how could you recover it if you threw it down there? I could probably get a screwdriver. Alright, I think we can go. Why why did that why did that do that again? Why did that do that again? I wasn't even over here. What the fuck? Tyler, let's leave. Tyler, please. I've seen enough. I wanna go home and get some shut eye. Alright. Let's let's bounce. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. Weren't you just saying you couldn't keep your fucking eyes open? Yeah, let's go. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Yeah, it must be like... One of, like 4 a.m. or something? Yeah, how early is it right now? I can't even see the sun. Because of all the snow. Alright, let's get in the ride. Bounce. Okay. Back from the dead. Still had to take a leak. Ooh. A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. Ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. Where's the aspirin? I need aspirin quick. On the double. 200 cc's of aspirin. To the vein. I don't think you can put it there, actually. Okay, there it is. Uh, this. That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Take it with alcohol if I need it. Alright. Anyway, what else can I do here? Can I turn on the tunes? Hey, you're listening to KWN Turn that off! That is not the tunes I want to listen to. Alright, what about this book? Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. <laughs> Look at this guy over here, fucking Harvard. Nerd. Alright. Let's check on the old interwebs. Browse Reddit. And waste our time. Oh, wait, what is this? My parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. Damn, what's the point of doing stuff if, like, it's like a 50-50 shot of it depressing you? Hey, real life. Okay, it kind of is. Alright. Let's go to Pornhub, I mean, YouTube.com. Alright. Awesome. Look at me surfing the web. Video games. Notch up new victims. Oh, shit. Oh, no. 
No, my depression. How could video games disappoint me? Okay, weather. <laughs> More snow. Oh, you don't- Oh my fucking god, breaking news. I've seen enough. I'm stressed. The internet wasn't supposed to stress me out. What the fuck? I've been lied to. Ugh, and I'm even more stressed now that I don't have any more messages. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is clearly not akin to real life because, uh, the, uh... Well... I take it back. That's, that's, that's pretty accurate. Let's get out. Up and at him. Let's get some fresh air. Go outside, play a couple. Let's play a little bit, a couple rounds of b-ball. Let's play some b-ball. I gotta get dressed though. Closet? Yes. Maybe we should shower first. Get do something about these wounds. Maybe. All right. Check out my crib. I'm coming, I'm coming. Damn, it's loud. Hello? Who the fuck is this? Hello? Lucas, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And, to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Okay. Marcus, he's our friend. that I was wearing last night were covered in blood and I better not leave them there. Yeah, but we don't want to touch them again, do we? New York police, please open the door. Oh, what? Uh... Wait. Wait a minute. These images in my head are... I must be losing my mind. What? I... What was that? Why? Oh shit. We probably shouldn't have skipped the tutorial. I had no idea what to do there. There's some Simon Says shit though. Theory of a dead man. Say goodbye. <laughs> Oh my god, we have such good taste in music. All right. I enjoyed that. Excellent. All right, seriously, put some clothes on. Put some goddamn clothes on right now, sir. No, don't do that. Open it. Okay, this one. My wrists are still bloody. Damn. Gotta do something about that. Yeah, that's right. I was... I meant to. I just... Whatever. Wait, what the hell? Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The 
killer is a man in his 30s of average height with brown hair. Police are already searching for the man and will be releasing a composite sketch in the next few days. Yeah, they're never gonna catch us. My hair's black, not brown. <laughs> Tough luck, idiots. New York police. Oh shit! Please open the door. Oh no, 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 no! Wait a minute. They know. They've come to arrest me. Oh shit! Okay. All right. Open up. Just a minute. I'm coming. I can't find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Hide everything? Why don't we just bail, dude? Sir. This is pretty the sure they have our DNA. I must insist that okay, you grab the clothes. Put them in a the hamper. Put them in a the hamper. In a hamper in the bathroom. Put them in a the hamper. Alright. Here it is. In a hamper. Our washing machine. Why the hell is that in the bathroom? Alright, whatever. I don't care. If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. Just a minute, officer. Shut up. Oh god, game froze a little bit there. We're all right. It's okay. All right. We just gotta go in here and cover up the bed. Cover the fucking bed up. Do that. Nothing. All right. We're in the clear. This and finally, we gotta warning. put some clothes on. Open the door now, or I knock it down. Are you kidding me, dude? You just washed it off. What? Oh! Damn it! We're gonna fucking die. I mean, we're going to jail. This is it. We're going to we're going to fucking prison, dude. It's over. Game over. We're going to fucking prison. Do I get all the way in the shower? Is that what you want me to do? All the way in the shower? Wait, 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 wait. Medicine cabinet. Bandages. Bandages. There we go. If I at least cover this shit up, they can't say anything. I'll just be naked when they come in the door. Excellent. Okay, don't come in. Don't move. And that's how my story ends. What? The neighbors called the cops because they heard shouts coming from my apartment. It didn't take long for them to find evidence of my guilt and link me up to the murder in the restaurant. Now I'll never find out what really happened. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just a murderer. Dude! I went... You didn't... Why don't you just put the clothes on over the blood first and then bandage later? Or, better yet, go out the fucking window? I don't know. Oh, this game. What did I what did I just get into? What did I just sign up for? Fuck it. She said don't leave this up to me to say that I don't love you 